guys, it's Alex here, and today I'm going to show you the makeup look that I've been wearing the most often in February. If you're new here, I make lifestyle and beauty videos. Um, you can go down below and hit subscribe to stay updated. And I make a new video in this series at the end of every month, just so you guys can see what I've been gravitating towards as far as makeup goes for that month. So without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, so I'm just gonna put some concealer on the places of my face that sometimes need concealing. As always, I'm sorry that I'm looking off into the corner. I use the viewfinder um, most of the time. And I'm just gonna buff that in. Some days I'm a fan of going in with my Real Techniques buffing like perfect face sponge or whatever it's called. Um, and that's just the orange one that's like cut on one side and the rest of it just looks like a beauty blender. But today I was feeling a brush. This is the Real Techniques um, buffing brush. Yeah, buffing brush um, with the Sephora Collection Gel Concealer. And after that, I'm just going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 004 Sandstorm and this big fluffy Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just gonna set that. Focus a lot of my setting on my under eyes because, let's face it, I've got them circles and I don't like it to budge. <laughs> All right, now you're super close to my face, and I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, subculture palette into this yellow shade, which is called Edge. And this look is super, super simple. I'm just gonna pack that all over my lid. Like so. And I'm just doing this with a flat, shader brush which is what I usually reach for when I'm doing just like all over lid stuff. I, I hope I stayed up far enough for you to see that. I sometimes don't. I need to be better about that. And next I'm going in with this Lexi blending brush into the exact same color and I'm going to buff out the edges. Just like that. Um, let me d know down below in the comments where you live, like what state you live in and or what country you live in and what temperature it is because this past week has been freezing here. I'm not even kidding. It's been like miserably cold. I woke up yesterday and it was like negative 20 degrees. I live in Wyoming. Um, next I'm going to go in with New Wave, which is this orange color, and I'm just going to put that in my, like, outer corner area, just to make it slightly a different color from the lid, you know. Add just a little dimension. And then I'm going to go in with Dawn, which is this, which is this lighter color here. And I'm just gonna buff out the edges a little bit more. Ooh, that was a little too much maybe. You know, we all have our days. Today might not be mine. Yeah, kind of like that. And guys, believe it or not, that's the eyes pretty much done. I'm gonna go into the with this tiny little angled, like, uh, it's called a bent liner brush. And I'm gonna take this dark greenish shade called Axis and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that on my lash line. This look is very colorful. I don't know why I've been reaching for the colors lately, you know? It's just all through February. I was like, the subculture was calling my name and I wanted to figure out like a more wearable way to use this palette because I mean it's not every day right that I want to make that I want to wear a green smoky eye or something of that nature so 
I was on the lookout for a more wearable way to wear it. So there's the eyes done. I'm gonna put on mascara and do my eyebrows. I've just been using the pure fully charged mascara. And just like normal, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil to do my brows. So I'll go do that real quick so you guys don't have to watch it. Wow, eyebrows, cool. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Total Face Palette. Looks like that, and I'm gonna use this orangey blush here on this IT Cosmetics stippling brush. I'm just gonna try and put some color back in my face because I kinda concealed my cheeks and I have naturally rosy cheeks, but some days I want a little something extra, so there's blush. And as of recent, I've been reaching for the Mary Luminizer. I got this as a sample in my January Ipsy bag. I'll link that video down below if you want to see what else I got. I also do an Ipsy makeup video every month where I show you what I got in my Ipsy bag. Sorry guys, my camera just died. So I just put the highlighter on the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, a tiny bit on the cupid's bow, and that's it. Yeah, so I'm going to put some on my... Um, inner corners real quick. Yas, Get that glow! Oh, and I also did a tiny bit under my brow bone. Now I by no means wear lipstick on a daily basis, like even at all, but for the purpose of tutorial and because I do on occasion, I'm just gonna put on some of the um, lasting finish by Kate Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 14, which is pretty much like my lip color. It's a little browner. And that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to go down, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what kind of videos you'd like to watch. I'd love to have you in the fam. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Also, I finally have a legitimate posting schedule. I post pretty much every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes I mess up a little bit and then it ends up being on Wednesday and Friday. So you can be on a lookout for a new video from me every Tuesday and Thursday and or Wednesday and Friday.